Hello and welcome to week two of a new video tutorial series for virtualracingschool.com with the Global Mazda MX-5 Cup car as used in the Rookie Road series running on free content for new users. So this week we visit the Japanese circuit of Okayama which features the same characteristic smooth surface as other circuits on the surface in the region. It's highly technical with several variations of slow and medium speed corners requiring good momentum throughout to reward the driver with quick lap times. So again this is a fixed setup series so I've run a lap with the included iRacing baseline setup as used in the official races and I've driven in default afternoon weather. This was also set on the first lap following an out lap as that's when the tyres provide the most grip. It's normal to see a fairly rapid fall off in lap time uh, by about half a second or so after a few laps. So as usual we'll play the lap through first and then go into further analysis. And across the line there for a 1 minute 46.867. Uh, so yeah, solid lap with a couple of obvious areas for slight improvement. Um, okay, so we'll go back to the end of the out lap. Um, obviously, you want to maximise your exit speed, so I'm quite cautious on the entry there, but hard on the throttle on the exit, no drama on the exit. Um, carrying a good amount of speed across the start finish straight uh, where you immediately are thinking about your braking point which is going to be um, in between the uh, gantry and this uh, um, flag post here uh, there's also another reference which I prefer to use which is uh, these tyre marks on the circuit now they seem to always be here I think they're in, in, in the uh, texture of the circuit um, so I tend to break just about where they are, but if you look, it's between the two shadows, between the flag post and the uh, gantry as well. So um, if a reasonably fast first corner. Um, so I, I'm braking fairly hard there, but not super hard. Um, notice how I'm right at the edge of the circuit. Uh, I want to open up uh, my entry as much as possible. Uh, that's quite important. Um, and then as I turn in, as I start to, to turn the car in, I trail off the brake. Um, 
but then interestingly I go back on the brake that's because I've got a little bit of understeer there uh, so let's just have a look at that so on the brake turning in trailing off the brake and then just uh, breathing back on the brake again um, that's called trail braking where I'm uh, causing the front end to load up a bit more uh, just to give me a bit more front end bite um, just to make sure that I'm gonna hit my apex here which I do nicely which is good um, and then that allows me um, to get on the power knowing that the front end is where I want it to be uh, so you'll see that now I'm hard on the power there hard on the power and notice how I'm kind of soaring at the wheel um, trying to open it up um, for for the exit now obviously my line there has, has taken me to the edge of or close to the edge of the circuit but not quite that was actually a little bit wider than I would say is probably optimal uh, the, the most important thing though is to bring yourself back over to the right hand edge of the circuit um, as you go under the this other gantry uh, and uh, so bring yourself close to the uh, right hand edge as you uh, uh, turn in for uh, what is Williams corner turn two uh, now the reference for for turning in here is uh, probably going to be this uh, um, this green con concrete uh, th this curbing here um, just before there you want to start turning in actually um, but that's probably going to be close to your the wireless point uh, where you want to be uh, and then this is a an even faster corner still so um, although I do break there it's <laughs> it's extremely minimal it's it's literally just breathing on the brake pedal there um, now I actually had a little bit of understeer mid corner here versus what I would normally be comfortable with so I probably could have afforded with braking just a little bit harder and that would have um, loaded up the front end just a little bit more and um, uh, just reduce the understeer slightly on the entry so here I'm turning in quite hard um, a bit harder than I would normally turn in um, maintaining that steering angle uh, you don't want to turn in too hard if you do have understeer because it's only going to worsen the understeer but I'm uh, pretty much right on the on the peak of the tires at this point with this steering angle um, and the most important thing is to not run out of circuit on the exit which uh, can be very easy to do you've got this gravel here on the exit which can uh, collect you if you just carry a bit too much speed get too eager on the throttle um, but notice how I do get on the throttle very early and that is quite important so pretty much as soon as you've hooked up with this curb on the inside you're uh, um, hard on the throttle so oh, again you don't want to be too early um, because you'll you'll run out onto that gravel so approaching the Moss S now uh, you want to aim for the inside of the circuit here and just kind of straight line it as much as you can so my steering inputs are very very minimal there and I've uh, clipped uh, each edge I'm using quite a lot of curb here on the second part um, so yeah you, you want to just basically carry as much speed um, scrub as little speed off as you can and straight line it as much as you can um, and that carries me in a straight line towards uh, turn 4 which is outward curve uh, which is quite a wide um, curve especially on the exit it opens up onto the uh, long straight um, but the braking point here is going to be about 60 or 70 meters um, you can use these shadows to sort of judge um, whatever you're more comfortable with really uh, but you've got the second group of shadows which is um, kind of where I start to think about uh, braking where th there's a couple of gaps actually so pretty much here this gap whatever you're comfortable with it's going to be 60 meters anyway um, and again so we're braking quite hard here um, about 55 60 percent uh, which is pretty close to to uh, you know threshold braking um, and you want to ideally carry as much speed through here without killing your exit um, which unfortunately I did slightly so um, I got some um, now some oversteer on the entry is okay as long as you collect it up by the exit um, but unfortunately I had some oversteer as I applied the throttle there uh, which unfortunately um, just killed my momentum and momentum is extremely important at the circuit um, so yeah as I'm similar to turn one really I'm trailing off the brakes as I'm turning in uh, it's very important to um, hook up with this curb in the middle um, 
and so I probably just turned in a bit too aggressively and that's why I had some oversteer um, on power which you'll see just there um, so I had to uh, obviously uh, counter steer at that point ever so slightly just to catch it and collect it up um, and I was also as a result of that oversteer a little bit tighter than normal on the exit um, so it's as I said it's very wide on the exit you can allow the car to um, to to use a bit more of the track on the exit depending on your apex speed um, if you have a fairly slow apex um, then you can afford to have a nice tight exit and cover less distance if you carry a bit more apex speed then you can allow the car to run out a little bit wider okay so keeping the car over to the left down to the hairpin is actually called hairpin um, turn five uh, you can afford to brake amazingly late in this car it's uh, not got so much power uh, but it's got a lot of grip with its um, slick tires um, so you've got another flag post here on the left uh, you want to brake um, about 60 or 70 meters uh, just before that post um, and it's the hardest braking zone on the circuit uh, you're braking obviously in a straight line for some time because you've got a lot of speed um, so I'm about 65 percent brake pressure there um, and then just kind of gradually bleeding off as I turn in um, not off the brake pedal yet uh, finally now I'm off and then I'm hard on the throttle for the exit um, now you want a, a quite a tight line through on the exit here um, because you immediately you set you're setting yourself up for the um, left-hander uh, of revolver turn six so if we just play this through important to be very tight here uh, make sure you get the car slowed down nicely um, when you turn in and again so notice how I'm still breathing on the brake paddle at this point just to make sure that the front end is nice and tight and um, is hooking in nicely for me um, and then notice on the exit uh, can pick up the throttle quite hard generally in this car you can pick up the throttle quite aggressively because there's not much power um, as long as the car is settled um, and you wait for the car to settle when when you do that so again on the exit I'm not allowing myself to run out too wide here um, no no further than the middle of the circuit and uh, immediately bringing myself over to the right hand side for uh, revolver as we said um, so the circuit kind of drops away from you here um, so you you want to turn in reasonably early um, so you can hook up with this inside curb and you've got this kind of uh, brown patch on the grass on the left you want to turn in before there really um, just breathe on the brake pedal slightly there not really much of a braking zone to talk of um, but you do need to just shave a little bit of speed off uh, as you turn in and then hard on the throttle as soon as you've um, just uh, crested over this curb here on the inside so hard on the throttle there now um, using all of the circuit on the exit uh, try not to go into the gravel uh, this is about as, as far over on the exit as you want to be straighten the car up nicely and early as well and then this next one turn seven um, Piper uh, is all about momentum really you want to scrub as little speed off as you possibly can so um, just a, a short jab on the brakes there um, but again notice how I I kind of trail the brake um, a lot of the time almost fully into the apex there so it takes me a long time before I actually come off the brake pedal entirely um, but I'm just squeezing the brake pedal I never really exceed 20% there make sure you hook up with this curb on the inside and then hard on the throttle for the exit so that was nice good bit of momentum that I carried out of there um, and also you don't want to one run too wide um, on the exit but at the same time you want to open up the steering nicely um, to carry as much speed through so quite a short braking zone into this uh, sequence of double hairpins um, quite a late braking zone because you haven't it's quite a short straight so you haven't got too much speed at this point um, you're going to be braking about 30 or 40 meters um, and this first hairpin is going to have an earlier turn in than the second hairpin and the reason for that is you have a very short straight in between but after the second hairpin you've got a, a much longer run um, down towards the 
uh, turn 10 which is almost flat out and, and the final corner well the last corner as it's called okay so yeah so fairly hard on the brakes there um, uh, down two gears into second now this is another area where I probably turned in just a little bit too soon and I was quite lucky to get away with this um, but I'm using a lot of curb here probably a bit more than I'd be comfortable with and um, sort of to I realized that I was a bit too slow um, and I turned a little bit too too early too late so my realization of that was a bit too late and uh, notice how again um, holding the, the, the brakes right into the apex uh, but yeah so so on the exit this is where I lose a little bit of time just a bit too hard on the throttle and I had uh, quite a lot of oversteer there to collect up now normally that would that would really kill your momentum um, so if there was a long straight after this that would be um, very bad news but um, it almost immediately leads into the uh, next hairpin which is uh, uh, turn 9 hops uh, now this has a much later entry so it's important when you exit turn 8 that you uh, bring the car over to the left as soon as you can um, now I also leave it in second gear here uh, because the run is very short you're on the limiter for a uh, a very short amount of time. Now also you, you don't have much speed so you're not really braking too hard but also notice again um, I'm just breathing on the brake pedal just to trail brake into the apex make sure that I get the car hooked up. So I finally hook up with the apex uh, fairly late this time and get the car straightened to about 60% throttle, wait for the car to settle then hard on the throttle um, to have a good exit. Now it's really important there that you don't have any dramas on the exit as you apply in the power. Which I don't, which is good, using all of the track on the exit um, and then keeping the car really far over to the left um, to open up turn 10 as much as possible. So really far over to the left here uh, with the goal being that you can almost make it through here flat out now I'm shifting up into fourth at this point as well so that's my slight lift and there's a little bit of hesitation here as I uh, change up into the next gear um, so, but it's, it's pretty much almost flat out so we'll just take that on board playing with the wheel a little bit because the cars um, just got a slight tendency to oversteer on the exit there and uh, this will lead you uh, towards the edge of the circuit once again into the last corner uh, where you'll be shifting down into third um, a reasonably fast corner, one which requires a lot of patience um, but you're carrying quite a lot of speed at this point um, so the braking is is fairly hard um, so it's like 30-40% uh, and then just kind of balancing the car, trailing the brake, trailing the throttle um, just to get the car where I want it to be and it takes me a bit of time before I'm happy and then I go straight to full commitment on the power full throttle let's just play that again hesitating full throttle when I know that I don't have to lift off again and using all of the track there on the exit um, it's quite common for people to um, drop a wheel on the grass there which is why you get a, a build up of dust on the inside of the circuit there where it, where it gets thrown up normally um, so yeah and uh, and across the line there so yeah good luck for this week and uh, make sure you're registered on racing school virtual racing school dot com one day I'll get it right where you can gain access to telemetry replays and setups and even book one to one coaching with top drivers from the likes of Coanda Simsport Thanks for watching.